Hi, and thank you for watching us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and also consider other important aspects of being self-employed, working for yourself, running a small business. So following on from our bite size series of QuickBooks um, demos, today we're going to be looking at how you can make sure that your supplier accounts are all correct in QuickBooks. Now, it's really important, as we've talked about in previous um, videos, to reconcile as much of the information as you can um, in QuickBooks. And this means reconciling to um, external sources. So we looked previously, for example, at how to reconcile your bank statement and your bank feed in QuickBooks to your um, actual bank statement given by the bank. And um, we can do a similar thing with your um, supplier accounts. So a lot of your suppliers, if you have credit terms, will send you statements on a regular basis. And all we're simply doing is checking that the balance that your supplier thinks that is owed is the same as the balance that QuickBooks shows that is owed. And um, by keeping by keeping um, your supplier accounts reconciled helps to keep your accounts accurate because this way you'll highlight um, any errors, um, but they may not always be on your part. So for example, you may have a situation where you have entered a um, an invoice um, as a bill twice you've duplicated the entry um so you would pick up that you may have missed one off um altogether or perhaps you've um categorized directly from the bank feed um a, a transaction but also entered um, a bill payment and we talked in other videos about how um that that leads to um, leads to duplication. Um, but sometimes it may not be your end that the discrepancy um, lies. So it may be, for example, that you send a payment to your supplier that they haven't allocated correctly to your account. So it's not only to ensure that your accounts are accurate, that you want to make sure that you reconcile the suppliers, um, but also to make sure that, um, that you are paying the correct amount and that you're not overpaying um, your suppliers or um, indeed underpaying them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, pop into the software and we're going to have a look at how we can reconcile our supplier statements to our QuickBook accounts. So I'm going to start by going to the supplier detail report. Um, so if I scroll down to um, what you owe, we want the supplier balance detail. And remember, if you put a um, check in the star alongside the report, it will um, move it to the top of your favourites and you won't have to keep scrolling down. So this is a good place to um, start. So this is showing, so we're talking here about the bills that you've entered. So your purchase invoices that you've entered in QuickBooks as bills that you haven't yet paid, then um, these will all show on this um, supplier balance detail report. So in theory, this should be an accurate um, report showing what is outstanding to your suppliers at any given time. So of course, when I say any given time, um, that actually um, means to the last point that you've entered um, the bills or you've allocated the bank feed. So, for example, if you have entered all of your bills right up to date, all of your purchase invoices are on the supplier accounts. But the last month you haven't allocated the, any payments that you've made from the bank feed, then this isn't going to be um, reflected in this report. Um, so it's important before you start to reconcile your um, supplier account balances that you have um, firstly made sure that you've entered all of your purchase invoices that you have available and that you have allocated all of the payments from the bank feed. So we can then um, account by account see what our QuickBooks is showing as outstanding 
and then we can compare those to the supplier accounts and obviously any discrepancies then we want to investigate so for example on this um, report here in our demo account we can easily see um, at a glance that this invoice has been duplicated um, the invoices for the same date and the same invoice number have been entered twice so we can see at a glance why the £3,000 that's outstanding per our supplier statement is different to the £4,500 that's showing in QuickBooks. So we can simply navigate from this report and um, by clicking en on any of the um, any of the, um, the links on that invoice line, and then we can go to more and we can delete, and we can delete that um, rent expense. Now, um what we what we saw when we went into that was it was a recurring um item so it looks like um what's perhaps happened in this demo is that we have the recurring entry and the invoice has been manually entered so no problem no big deal we just delete the um duplicate but it just shows um why it's important to um recon reconcile the um supplier so um, what I've also got is on my um, supplier statement um, for, for this organization of outstanding event planners shows that I don't actually owe anything, but QuickBooks seems to think that I owe 390 pounds. So because this one isn't so obvious, I'm going to navigate into the actual supplier account. Um, so I'm going into um, expenses and then to the supplier account, and I'm going to um, I'm going to search to get there. I'm going to and then uh, and then th then once we're into the supplier account, we can see all of the entries because of course the supplier balance detail is only showing things that are outstanding, i.e. unpaid items. And now we can quickly see that this was a duplicate um, entry. So we can see here on the 31st of March, two lines, two separate entries for the same invoice. And we can see actually that one of these was um, paid. And that is why only one was outstanding and one was showing. Now, one thing is um, it's important to try to be conscious of these um, of these things whilst you're doing your day-to-day -day, um, bookkeeping in your QuickBooks software. And the reason that I'm saying that is because when we, when, um, we entered that payment and we allocated that payment um, to, that, um, to that bill, to that purchase invoice, we would have been able to see on the screen that there were two invoices entered. So, of course, it would have been much easier then at that point to delete the duplicate rather than having to take the time um, to actually look into the account now. So I'm going to just um, so I can see which one is showing on the report because it's the one that says make payment next to it. So I'm just going to simply delete um, that duplicate. Um, transaction and then if we go back to the um the supplier balance detail which you can now see because i checked the green star is in our favorite reports if i go back into that report you can see that that um that last one has now disappeared and we just have the three thousand outstanding um to this supplier which matches the supplier um statement So hopefully this gives you an understanding of where to go to start to um, reconcile your supplier, um, your supplier accounts in QuickBooks and the importance of checking that the amounts that QuickBooks thinks is outstanding is um, correct. So as you can see, as we looked in the demo account, we only had a couple of issues. We only have a small, um, a small report. Um, but of course, if you don't regularly um, carry out this exercise, then the the um, the anomalies will will simply build up and it becomes a bigger exercise. So much quicker to just look at this on a regular basis as soon as you've completed your bank feed and entered all your purchase invoices as bills into QuickBooks. Um, if you have a quick look at your report and just um, 
just check that for accuracy. This is how we will keep the QuickBooks data um, correct and ensure that your accounts are accurate. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you need to. And if you navigate to the playlist section of our YouTube channel and search for the QuickBooks um, guidance, you will find other demos um, on how to use your QuickBooks software. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.